Oh, well, somebody says I'm hypocritical. I'm a hypocrite. Soul and black, uh, you know, shot down a friend of mine talking bad about a sci fly or something like that. And I'm supposed to be J Ryder friend. How come I don't take, you know, take sides? I said to myself, you know, um, I like the Sergeant Willie Pete. I don't agree with Sergeant Willie P. <clears throat> I can't agree with everything he said, but there are some things I can't agree with. Hell, it's time for me to wake up. So, um, you know, same thing with Soul and Black. You know, he was bumping his gums like, you know, he's all that on YouTube, on Sergeant Willie Pete's followers. But, but Soul and Black, I just want to be honest with you, man. YouTube is not about following nobody or being on somebody's side or somebody's team. And I noticed, man, um, you just be sometimes repeating other things that have been said by other people. I know you like it to really repeat, but as far as the talking about, you know, going after other people and I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take care of him later, and I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do that. This is just YouTube. I wouldn't worry about the Sergeant Willie P. I'd worry about Soul and Black. Instead of jumping in these little fools' beefs and shit, and perpetuating your own beef for nothing, you know, that belittles you. So somebody says, um, "Why do you go to Soul and Black's defense and?" defend him uh, and his white woman. I'm like, you know, it's just basic decency. You're on YouTube, you ain't on YouTube to blast on nobody or to talk bad about nobody, to belittle anybody. So I'm not defending Soul and Black. I'm not defending uh, Wise Nubian. I'm not defending uh, J. Ryder. I'm not defending Father Judgment. I'm not defending the Boss Francis Coppola. I don't defend anybody. But if I believe people get stepped on, you know, in a bullshit manner, then I'll say so. So it was like some of the rhetoric that uh, Sci-Fly was getting from y'all fools. It was pitiful. You know, I mean, it's like, why? But you know, hey, that's how it is when somebody wants to feel like they're part of something. So maybe Soul and Black want to feel like part of what Willie Pete was saying. Maybe Soul and Black wanted to be like Little Willie Pete, you know. But everybody knows there's only one Sergeant Willie Pete. And, and no matter how many people watch Willie Pete and want to comment like they Willie Pete's buddies or whatever, Willie Pete know who his real friends are. Willie Pete know his real friends don't agree with every damn word he say. You know what I mean? Willie Pete know he ain't going to tell somebody go see if you can walk on water. First of all, let's wait until we get out on the sea first. Because it don't work in you know, shallow water. And then how many people going to follow Sergeant Willie P. T. You know, you have to take the good and bad and everybody. How can I help you, sir? You want to go use the workout machine? You want to go, you want to go kick it on the hammock outside? You want to go to sleep? Hell, you could have talked, hell. It's only a video for YouTube. <clears throat> I feel you. So it's like, you know, I'm not a hypocrite for not defending people when people first say something about them. When these people first spoke on Jay Ryder, yeah, I watched Jay Ryder, I listened to Jay Ryder, I commented on the show a few times. I, you know, hey. But I'm not supposed to just jump on Jay Ryder's bed. Oh, don't talk about Jay Ryder. And then when whatever, somebody else retaliated on back or whatever, I'm not supposed to say, you know, don't talk about Willie Pete like that. But if you look at the history of my videos, I did try to step in and say, let that shit go. And then, you know, I did a video after Jay, uh, not Jay Ryder, after, um, I did this video, and then um, everybody said I was being a hypocrite then, because I was telling people to be quiet and calm down and leave me, let it go. And 
and said, now you now you being a hypocrite. Now the man is gone, you just want to do videos and make fun of him. I'm like, no, I'm not making fun of him because I know he'll be back. And at the end of that video, I pointed out something. When you get bumped off this little medium and you come back, you got to come back smarter than you was before you left. Don't come back with the same old shtick because you've been there and you've done that. So that's what I'm trying to say about that situation. But about me letting certain people say things about certain people and defending certain people on certain things, I should have been there earlier for somebody else. And if I would have been there, you know, some things could have been said differently. But instead, you know, we lost somebody off YouTube behind some drama that I would rather watch over all you cats. You know, so you cats on YouTube beefing with chicks and you chicks over there beefing with dudes. You know, it's the same old shit. And if you don't believe in what um, Sergeant Willie's P is saying, don't perpetuate it in actions. And the same thing with you. You know, you know, you, you say you watch Sergeant Willie Pete and Willie Pete, you know, is right and wrong, or whatever. You perpetuate the same shit he said about brothers sometimes in some of your videos. The thing is, we don't always have to always agree with everything that we say, but we have to agree on one thing. There's more to this than just us. So it's like, you know, I might not like any of your videos. You might not like none of mine. But I don't dislike anything you say or everything you say just because there's one aspect of your um, uh, page or your whatever that I don't like. And that's the childish part of YouTube. And if you have a dis uh, disagreement with me, you tell all the people that like you, you know, I don't like AIX. Let's do something about it. And then that's the childish aspect of it. That's how bullshit gets started. Um, other than that, man. I got no beef with nobody, but as far as being a hypocrite goes, you know, all people on YouTube is trying to do is get you riled up, men, women, whatever, and whether you like them or not, if you comment on their videos and then all of a sudden you say something they don't necessarily agree with, other than saying, you know what, I can understand where you're coming from, but I don't agree with you, you know. Okay, fine with your opinion, cool. But instead, the average person on YouTube come off on you like, you know, fuck you. And then like the girl was talking about your wife. You know, I'm still going to search for the video where you had spoke bad on her. But even if you did speak bad on her, then that made you little. That made you smaller than what you are. Thus, the cycle continues. So I'm just trying to point something out and figure it out. Watch me do my shoulders, make it look like I'm blind. You know, but other than that, you know, there are brothers that come on YouTube and try to tell the truth. But what I want to say in closing on this video is, it's not about how much beef you can cook up, but it's how many people that beef can feed. In other words, you can say something constructive and make yourself look like a hero every time you speak. You can say something negative one time and look stupid because you've already made negative statements beneath you and that's what I'm trying to point out to everybody on YouTube people say I ramble on and on and on and I speak in a riddle if you're smart enough and your brain is big enough you can decipher it the message is always in the middle I don't know what this Arizona vitamin C fortified juice will do for you but um, it's not alcohol Once again, a black man pushing a stereotype. Black people and watermelon. If you can't pick a fresh one, it's just like drinking one. You've been tubed.